Remind me, what is that, Ricky? Angular velocity. Angular velocity, the equation for angular velocity, Michael, is? I'm sorry, say it again. Yes, but I need one more word in that. Change in the angle. Change in the angular position over change in time. So change in theta over change in time. Just for yucks, what are dimensions on angular velocity? All right. Radians per second. We we could also have Landon. Uh, degrees per second. Degrees per second. Sure. What would what would be the most common one in your everyday lives, Evan? RPMs, revolutions per minute. Degrees per second is certainly true, but revolutions per minute and uh, radians per second are the most common. Uh, let's see. So, capital T stands for what, Heather? Period. The period. The period, by definition, is what, Kansas? Um, the time it takes for a... The time for one full revolution. What then is the change in theta if the time is the period? Let me. 2 pi. 2 pi. 2 pi radians. Got to identify your dimensions. So this is 2 pi radians. In other words, the period is equal to 2 pi divided by the angular velocity. In addition, well, let's just, we'll do that for a So the period is equal to 2 pi divided by the angular velocity. And this relationship is one that we're going to use quite a bit in this class, relating the angular velocity to the period. 